days gone by And you were mine But now those days are memories and time I shared deep without you YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Zat Your Hair. Welcome back to my channel. We are diving right into this unit by Julia Hair. They sent me a 10 inch 13 by 4 Brazilian human hair lace front. It has the combs, two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps, and you can see the lace here. I haven't rocked with lace in a while, so please bear with me as I take a break from the headband wigs in this video. But yeah, the curls are really cute. I washed it off camera with shampoo and I dried it with my Revlon blow dryer. And right here, I'm just going with some tint spray. I'm using the tint spray in the darkest brown color. Love this spray. It really helps my units to blend with my skin color very easily and effortlessly. I just dry it with a blow dryer and then you can see right here how it's matching now. So when I initially put this wig on, I did notice that it was not fitting my head properly. It took some tugging, but I did get it on. I'm using my bedhead spray to adhere the lace, and then I'm going to just dry it with my blow dryer. The sides of the hair were flapping a bit, so I did end up doing that off camera and using Got To Be Glue Gel while drying with my blow dryer on low. I then went in with a powder that I got from the beauty supply store. It is linked down below in my description box just to help blend it. Now I did notice with this unit it was definitely giving me like split end vibes so I had to go in with the scissors and trim the ends because it was looking a little bit yeah it just wasn't looking right to me. So I just tried to make the layers a little bit more even. That's one thing I noticed about this unit. It, it They tried to layer it but it seemed like it fell short towards the crown area because I noticed that there were some shorter pieces there. But as I started to sniff at the unit, it looked a little bit better. And over here, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to style this because I like it in its natural texture, but I feel like it was missing something. And that's why I added the Lot of Body Muse. Really feeling this muse, y'all. I've heard about it a lot and this is my first time trying it definitely makes the curls pop it smells nice and it doesn't leave that crunchy feel that old school mousses would usually feel already this is looking a lot better I had to apply more mousse over by the crown because it was definitely sticking up but yeah so far I really like these curls especially straight out of the box it feels super soft and I did try to apply a little swoop here but y'all know I don't do baby hairs like that but I tried because that eight little corner right there was not really working for me. I do have my She's Bomb Edge Control, but honestly, I would have rather just used the mousse because I feel like it is easier to apply these swoops with mousse. And that's pretty much all I did to style this unit. back with this Julia hair unit. Let's just dive into the pros and the cons. Starting with the pros, the hair itself feels super soft. Straight out the pack without washing it, I was just like, wow, this feels really, really luscious. And I really like the pro pattern. I think it's super pretty straight out of the box. Now, despite how pretty the hair feels in the curl pattern, I did have a few cons. The first con was just the way the wig fit on my head. It felt like it was too small for me. Like I had to pull mind you i just got my hair braided so i know my 22.3 circumference head <laughs> is a true medium i feel like it should fit so i'm not sure if this is the smaller cap that they sent me but i had to finesse that and pretty much what i did off camera like when it came to the sides i just pulled it sprayed my got to be glue and then used the blow dryer while pressing down with a rat tail comb and then the sides were able to lay down flat Another con to this unit is the ends of the hair. It was definitely giving me split end vibes, like ends that need to be trimmed. So that's why you saw me go in and trim it. And once I did that, the ends looked 
10 times better. I wanted to make sure I did that before I applied the mousse. Overall, this is supposed to be a 10 inch unit, but I just noticed that there were a few short pieces in the middle and it really affected the density of the unit. To me, this is supposed to be a light density. However, it felt like the crown area could use a few more tracks in order to complete the look. So when I touch it, I'm feeling some tracks here, which I'm not a fan of. So this is a unit I would rather get in a longer length, at least with the hope that the layers would be better on the unit. I feel like they did try to layer this unit, but I feel like somewhere in the middle, it got a little messed up. Due to the different lengths in the unit, I did have some trouble with the styling and figuring out how I wanted to wear her. And so I finally settled on a half up, half down because honestly, you just can't go wrong with half up, half down. I'm not really feeling how I laid the front, to be honest. I feel like I have a halo. I don't know, I'm sure y'all will tell me. I mean, maybe you can't really tell, but uh, it just doesn't feel like my best install mind you i have not been rocking with lace for a while maybe your girl's a little rusty i don't know let me know in the comments i can be honest i don't care <laughs> let me know but overall i do think this curl is very cute especially when i apply the mute mousse and let me tell you i like this mousse a lot i've seen sherelle aka natural joy talk about this lot of body mousse and i see why it smells good and when you apply it it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy the hair feels just as soft as it was when it came out the box. So this I think is definitely a must and I will link it in my description box in case you all are interested in buying it. Now this human hair unit is super affordable. It's only $75. So for that price point, I don't have super high expectations. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in purchasing this unit. So at the end of the day, I think this turned out pretty cute. I just wish I had her in a longer length. If you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember all purchase links are in the description box down below, including some of the things I use in this video. Shout out to Julia here for sending me this unit, sponsoring this video. And I will see y'all in the next one.